Hello guys, today I want to show you one interesting solution to a well-known problem of custom fields in Eloquent. So this will be an example from open source project called Crater for invoicing and this has a trait for custom fields. So what are custom fields? Basically, if you have Eloquent model with fields that may be added later, but you don't know what fields there will be. For example, you have a customer model and then at some point you may add address, credit card details, second address, maybe maiden name, whatever. You don't know those fields yet. So how do you structure the database? Or for invoices. Invoice items may contain more extra fields like additional promotions, sizes, and whatever should be there on the invoice. It's a pretty well-known structure in WordPress, for example. WordPress has custom fields, so you can see the screenshot on the right and then more images of the custom fields. Basically, you can add any fields to the posts in WordPress. Also, there's a well-known plugin for that advanced custom fields for WordPress. So how do you deal with that in Laravel? There's no standard solution or nothing comes from Laravel directly, so you need to be creative. And as I announced, let's take a look at one implementation of that. By the way, I've noticed I'm shooting more and more videos, not from my own code, but from open source. But I imagine it's as useful as I would spend, I don't know, a day or so creating the same demo project. Meanwhile, I'm focusing on the content and also kind of promoting the authors here. So I hope it's fine. Now back to the topic, what is custom fields trait? So that trait is added to many models in that application, which adds a relationship of fields. And there's a separate model of custom field value. And then any model that uses that trait has a function called add custom fields. Also there's update custom fields and then get custom field by slug or value by slug. In terms of database, there are two database tables, pretty big because for that project, maybe there are more options than just a few fields. So custom fields themselves, and then custom field values with the relationship to custom field ID here. And then it's a polymorphic relationship between any model that uses that trait and custom field value. Now, where it is actually used, for example, models invoice has a trait of has custom fields. And then if we search for add custom fields in the method of create the invoice, which is inside of the model static method, it has custom fields from the request. So basically anything that comes from the controller for the request to add the invoice, they will be saved as custom fields, whatever those fields are unknown at this point, but the person making the request has freedom to add any fields, almost any fields. Another example is in clone invoice controller. So when cloning the invoice, we also search for add custom fields. And it is this one for each of the invoice fields already existing. We copy, we clone the custom fields to the new invoice. Also the same trait is used, for example, for customer model, there is as you can see has custom fields trait here. And then if we search for add custom fields, it also has the same logic from the request. So majority of the models using that trait has a functionality of adding those custom fields from the request in this way. If we take a look at examples, how those fields are used then later after saving, for example, in the invoice PDF, we have custom fields here for each custom fields. And then also later for each of the custom fields, get custom field value by slug. So again, on the invoice, they may add one or more custom fields to the table. Another example is in the API in the customer resource, eloquent API resource for the customer, they use something like this. When fields exist for that customer, then we have a separate custom field value resource collection. So returning those custom fields as a collection. And that is done by a separate resource called custom field value resource, returning all those fields, basically almost all of those fields from the database table directly. And if we search for has custom fields trade in the whole project, here's how many models actually use that estimate item, invoice item, expense, then customer model, user model, recurring invoice model, payment, estimate and invoice. So see how many? So it becomes a reusable solution for the whole project for any models that would come in the future. I will put the link to that trait in the description below. So you may take a look and take a look at the whole project, maybe try it out, install it 
and have a bigger picture. And if you want to dive deeper into other option with custom fields, I have a course on how to structure databases in Laravel. And one of the lessons in that course is about custom fields. So I discuss a separate, pretty well known method to do that, to add custom fields called entity attribute value model EAV. So eight minutes video about that specifically, and also more videos in this course about structuring the database from my own experience. So you can take a look at that course as well. I will link that as well in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.